and welcome to another episode of the School of Business and Technology's Alumni Spotlight Series. Our guest today is Ms. Pearl Bryan and Sema. Ms. Bryan and Sema, please tell us about yourself, such as the year that you graduated and your current position. All right, thank you, Megan, for letting me be here. This is such a great opportunity. Um, so hi, everyone. I am Pearl Bryan Asema, and I am originally from Nigeria. I came to the US in 2013 to study accounting, and I went to Houston to University. University, and um, I was in several leadership positions across many organizations. I was part of NABA, the National Association of Black Accountants. I was part of the SGA, the Student Government Association Pre-Alumni Council. So I would say I was very active on campus. And um, after graduation in 2017, I went on to grad school to get my MBA and my MS in business analytics. And um, after graduation from grad school, which was in 2019, I went on to work at Accenture and it's been a year of working and I've had such a great experience at work and I'm just so grateful that HT was able to lay that foundation for me. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh my goodness. You just like took off running and never stopped. That is amazing. <laughs> it's wonderful to hear. So what made you choose Houston Tillotson for your undergrad? So I chose um, HT because um, my dad was able to talk to Professor Dr. Paul Shout out to Dr. Paul. And I just felt that um, international students would have a safe environment. And I obviously wanted to be in a safe place because you know this was my first time in the US. I didn't want to feel overwhelmed. You know, the culture, the values, all of that were some of the factors that made me consider um, going to HT. And that was why I selected HT, just you know, that environment. And it feels like a family. All of the professors are nice. You know, like you can literally interact with them like they are your friends. I mean, obviously not in a disrespectful way, but um, I just had such a great experience there that um, I would recommend H2, HT to anyone. I mean, it just feels like a family. And I feel like most people would want that because everyone comes from different places and backgrounds. So it's just a place that we all come to learn. So, yeah. I've definitely noticed that about the uh, faculty within HTU, uh, just throughout HTU, um, and uh, they are so supportive of their students. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I, and <laughs> going to a school in a new country or a different country, I think it. Um, some folks like myself, who's a native Texan, would not yeah. consider the difficulties or challenges that may come with something like that. So that's wonderful to hear that you felt like you had a safe space at yes, this university. Yeah. So considering that you had wonderful experiences there, could you possibly pick out one um, memory that, you know, oh. one favorite memory that you may have had at HT? Um, <laughs> Megan, that is such a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I really try to absorb every moment. I try to, you know, just take you one day at a time and just go through the experiences because, you know, from that, that's really how we grow. But I mean, some of my favorite moments at HT, I was, um, I had the opportunity to go to so many conferences, you know, just being a student at HT, I was able to go to different states and just like learn a lot about different career paths out there. And um, I guess an another favorite moment was when I ran for Miss UNCF. I really liked what UNCF stands for. You know, they're able to support African Americans, provide scholarships, job opportunities. And so I was able to like run for that and raise money for students. And that was such an exciting feeling. So yeah, I have so many <laughs> other moments, but this one some of my favorite ones. <laughs> oh, I can imagine that must be such a wonderful feeling that you're giving back while in the middle of being yeah. in a position where you're also <laughs> receiving just that constant, yeah. you know, give like, oh, yeah. that's so cool. No, um, absolutely. So what made you decide to major in business accounting? <laughs> Um, so I went to secondary school in Nigeria and I was able to study accounting and I really liked it. And so I felt like I wanted to, you know, pursue that. So coming to HT, um, being in the School of Business and Technology, it felt like I had that elite status. 
<laughs> because you know you felt like oh yeah I'm studying business and HP also had this um, great opportunity where even though I studied accounting it also exposed me to other areas of business so I studied business administration with a concentration in accounting so I just did not learn about accounting alone which you know other students or at other schools, if they were to study accounting, that's really all they learn or marketing. But I was able to learn about all of that. And also going to other schools, um, you know, you get to meet students like in their own school of business and technology. So just that networking experience and just like learning more um, was such a great um, experience for me. Like you see people learn about entrepreneurship and, you know, other things. And um, that was why I decided to study accounting, like, because, um, I also like numbers. Um, <laughs> so yeah, really, that's it. That's really cool. Yeah, from what I can tell, uh, numbers, math, uh, accounting, all of that is really just a separate language. And it's a universal language that can be understood yeah. by so many, you know, mm -hmm. people, so many yeah. people from different places. Yeah, um, no, and something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> To add, I mean, like we, we accounting alone, like, you know, you learn about businesses, but I feel like there's also like a personal aspect to it because you take all of these classes, you take managerial accounting, you take cost accounting. I feel like those, um, the skills that you learn from those classes can be applied in your own personal life, like in terms of like budgeting, you know, like they don't really teach you how to budget. And then you come into the real world and you have all of these bills to pay, but you also want to have fun. So how do you balance spending versus saving versus investing? So, you know, all of these things I feel like do come into play um, at some point. So. Absolutely. I would absolutely agree with you. I am not an accounting major and it took me years to find a bunch. <laughs> so you're way ahead of the crowd. Pretty much any accountant is ahead of the crowd. Yeah, um, I would say that I think. <laughs> yeah, more than, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so what did you like the most about being in the School of Business and Technology? Um, I feel like it definitely gave me a strong foundation um, to go out into the world. So just, um, it was like, it's literally, it literally just laid the foundation for me because while I was at HT, that's when um, grad schools, you know, would come on campus and I was able to like learn about Bentley. And I was like, oh, okay, I want to pursue this. And, you know, from just being at, ben, um, at excuse me, at HT and just like having all of my experiences that prepared me for grad school because, um, you know, like Bentley is a good school and um, they would not like take every student. So just being at HT put me in a better place per se because, um, you know, they're also trying to increase their diversity. Um, so I feel like all of that, set me up for success so yeah so how has the education you received in the school of business and technology uh contributed to your career success i know like the safety um the culture values diversity these are some of the skills that you know graduating from ht one would have and then going into the world and expanding on all of that um like being at HD, I just did not learn about learn about accounting. I learned about all of these other skills because HD is a liberal arts school. And so you learn to be a world-rounded individual in the world. So I feel like all of that contributed. Awesome. So I guess it's safe to say that you would probably recommend the School of Business and Technology? Yes, I would. I absolutely would. Um, an opportunity, you know, to attend the oldest instit institution in Austin, Texas, first off, and you learn about other people um, and other backgrounds, I feel like, you know, is tough for me. And then coming to a safe environment where everyone feels like a family, absolutely. <laughs> and the values, like, personally, I was raised a Christian and HT having, um, you know, that background, it's a Methodist school, um, also like contributed to that so yeah wonderful so what would you say to corporations about investing <laughs> in this I whole would, business of technology <laughs> i would tell businesses and organizations like all of the corporations to invest in ht because you're investing you know in the lives of african americans you're investing in the lives of native americans like you know 
this is such a small diverse group that previously had no voice. And when you invest in HT, you will be able to see a bigger return because um, it's a small school and they will be more appreciative and you know put it to good use. So I feel like that would be very, very beneficial. Like you would see your return in a larger scale. And also um, it's the oldest institution in Austin, Texas. Like you wanna be part of that, so. <laughs> Absolutely. That was beautifully worded. I love that you incorporated accounting lingo with cultural lingo. That was a beautiful blend right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so last question I have for you. What advice would you give to your 18 year old self? <sighs> My advice would be to enjoy every moment. Take advantage of every opportunity, every resource. Um, you know, I have an extroverted personality, but sometimes I get shy. And, you know, being shy can hinder you a little bit. So what I would say is, you know, own your shyness, own your nervousness, but then grow out of it because really, you know, we're human beings and growth is constant. So we're always going to grow. We're always going to change and adapt. So what I would say is in your uncomfortableness, you'll grow out of that and just, you know, take every, take every um, opportunity as it comes. Yeah. That is so lovely. So I, have I, fun. I, <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I think that's excellent advice to give your young adult self. Yes. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Pearl, for your time today. I've, we've really enjoyed this conversation with you yeah. um, and taking time out of your morning to discuss your memories at HTU in the SVT. Yes. Um, so thank you so much again, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you, Megan, again.